Hi everyone, welcome to Telecamp's new product launch webinar. My name is Ivy and I'm so excited to be hanging out with you today. Today we are, have a very exciting news that we are launching our brand new 4K60 broadcast level PTZ cameras, the TLC 734K NDIAB and the TLC 312 times 4K NDIAB. So today's session will have the following parts. First, the key features overview, and then sample footage demo. The next one would be the price announcement. The last but not the least is our Q&A and giveaway part. So before we cover the new product, let me share with you this great news that we've got the 2022 IBC show coming up on September 9th to 12th in Amsterdam. So meet Telecamp at Hall 7 booth number B60, and we will be exhibit the latest products and share new solutions with you at the show. The latest full NDI, NDI HX3, and our 4K60 PTZ cameras. Our partner 3D Storm will be there and demonstrate our products for you. So make sure you stop by there and you can get your hands on, on our PTZ cameras, especially these two 4K60 NDI PTZ cams that we are going to dive into today. All right, so first of all, I would like to give you a general introduction of these products. So our 4K60 PTZ video camera is a brand new series with new image processing solution and new hardware design, aiming to bring users a live streaming PTZ video camera with broadcast quality and enterprise level price. And this series has two versions. One is the 30 times optical zoom version, which is used for large scale live broadcasting, such as concerts, sports, events, and congressional meetings. And the other one is 12 times optical zoom version used in churches, classrooms, corporate personal studio rooms, and other small or medium-sized live broadcasts. So next, I will elaborate on the main specifications of these two products. Okay, so we just mentioned the new image processing program. The first is that we use the United States brand, Umbrella, the most advanced image processor. The image processing chip of the camera is just like the human brain. It is the most fundamental element that determines the performance limit of a camera and the natural of the image. And the image processing chip has a strong loading capability and developable resource. It can support us to achieve true 4K60 resolution from NDI or IP and HDMI output at the same time. And you can also set up the sensor frame rate to match frame rate of the input and output to eliminate video lag caused by differences between the input and output frame rate. And the images are guaranteed to be presented smoothly without any lag and any resolution. We know that Umbrella's image processing chips are commonly used in the broadcast cameras and DSLR cameras because of the ability to present the most realistic color images. And so are our 4K60 PTZ video cameras. The second one is that we use Sony's real 4K sensor. The 30 times version is equipped with one over 1, 1. inch, a uh, one, one over 1.8 inch CMOS sensor, and the 12 times version is equipped with one over 2.8 inch CMOS sensor. As we mentioned in our last webinar of full NDI PTZ camera, you can't really say which one is better, Sony's or Panasonic sensor, but only a very different color style between them. And likewise, the choice of the sensor is not necessarily the larger size or the more pixels, the better, but the, ma the best match with the lens in terms of size and pixels. 
just like how we look for our spouse, not the most handsome or beautiful one, but the most suitable one. And then we choose the one over 1.8 inch sensor with our 30 times lens and one over 2.8 inch sensor with our 12 times lens. Because they are a perfect match in its size and pixels, such as two gears matched together. So the picture is clear and transparent. The depth of field is clear, the focus is accurate, no big netting and no noise. So the third one is we selected the real 4K lens, the 4K 30 times optical zoom lens and 4K 12 times optical zoom lens. The horizontal angle of the 12 times is 80 degrees super wide angle and the horizontal angle for the 30 times is 60 degrees wide angle. The optical zoom of these two cameras is absolutely impressive, capturing the object or movement from a distance while maintaining great video quality. And thanks to our advanced lens drive and our engineers dedicated research on lens zoom and focus following during zoom in and zoom out, these two cameras can zoom and focus stably and precisely. And we know that the larger the zoom times is, the more difficult it is to stabilize the focus, which is why there are not many 30 times PTZ video cameras on the market. In our experience, many 30 times if measured or calculated professionally do not reach the true 30 times. So it was a big challenge for us to complete this 30 times 4K60 PTZ video camera, but we did it and we brought them to our users. So it is important to choose the right camera for the right scenario. Anyway, there isn't one solution for all problems. So without digital zoom, if under the distance of about 15 meters, you need the character takes up to one third of the width of the screen and for 30 to 80 square meters rooms, the 12 times is your best choice. And if you need the character takes up one third of the width of the screen away from maybe 25 meters and um, 150 to 350 square meters values, then the 30 times is undoubtedly your target. We shot some 4K images at our company park to compare the 30 times optical zoom and the 12 times optical zoom at different distances. As you can see here, our staff is 50 feet away from the camera and another one is 100 feet away from the camera. So firstly, let's take a look at the image of the two cameras at its maximum optical zoom for distance of 50 feet. The 12 times optical zoom shows around half size of the staff, while the 30 times optical zoom shows down to the shoulders. So if your shooting distance is less than 50 feet, you are safe to choose the 12 times optical zoom camera. And now when the staff is 100 feet away and we zoom in the 12 times optical zoom camera, we barely see his face. And now you will need the 30 times optical zoom camera. So you can see one third the size of the staff and you can see his facial expression and gestures very clearly. And the depth of field is very obvious. So viewers can put their attention well on the main character. In addition to the new image processing solution, our hardware structure is also a new design. And we still design the 12 times camera in our classic 300 appearance, but the internal circuit and structure are based on the new image processing solution redesigned to make the camera better pan, tilt, and work longer life. For the 30 times camera, because the lens is larger and heavier, so our structure design is better counterweight to avoid the heavy top. The whole camera is very compact, sophisticated, robust, and also very smart. And both cameras are capable of 
stable and accurate pan tilt movement. First of all, the speed of PT movement can be set according to your requirements or preference. And secondly, the PTZ ratio function can be adjusted automatically. That is, the faster the pen tilt speed, the faster the zoom is, and vice versa. Next, users can also set up to 128 presets. What's more, you can set up the PTZ speed, white balance, exposure, iris, and focus for each preset. And lastly, you can also set the preset freeze function. That means when you are switching the presets, you can make the screen freeze until the switch is completed. And next, Lacey, let's switch the camera to our full NDI PTZ so I can show our audience the video output interface. I think you can see it clearly now, the video quality looks pretty good. Um, talking about the core interface, I know it's a kind of cliche, but it is for sure a crucial concern of users. Here is the TLC 700 IP 34K NDI AB, the 30 times 4K 60 PTZ video camera, and the same as the 12 times 4K 60 PTZ video camera. They both support various video output interface, such as the NDI or IP here, and HDMI 2, 3G SDI, USB-C, and it supports 3.5 millimeter line audio input. So firstly, let's talk about the NDI and HDMI. So through NDI or IP and HDMI 2, it can output 4K60 or 4K5994 resolution at the same time to meet the needs when you need one way of low latency remote live streaming and another way in the local monitor playback. As far as we know, this is a function difficult to achieve in the current 4K PTZ camera market. And thanks to the iframe, or you call it GOP, the group of pictures technology to encode the video signal and enables video transmission to take up less bandwidth and reflect lower latency. So the dual 4K60 output of NDI and HDMI2 is a test of our R&D skills. So I'd like to take this chance to thank all our engineers for repeatedly testing and modifying so that you get a stable 4K60 product without becoming an unexpected test engineer. And users can choose between NDI HX2 output and 4K60 and NDI HX3 output and 1080p60. With TriCaster, VMix, OBS, you can have a professional live broadcast in the easiest way. And 3G SDI and USB-C output, 1080p60 or 1080p5994 resolution at the same time. For 3G SDI, we use advanced SDI chip, which can achieve both level A and level B. So if you don't know what's level A and level B, there are two different formats of SDI transmission, which are organized in different ways from the image signals to data streaming. And the SDI devices we usually see like codecs or cameras are usually one of these two, but they are not compatible. So it's a very thoughtful design that uh, can solve you lots of compatibility problems. So it is a flex flexibly compatible with the SDI equipment in the market, support true broadcast grade video standard. And this is not a function that every camera with SDI interface can support. The quality of the SDI chip determines the compatibility and whether the image signal transmitted at 100 meters is stable enough even though it's a common sense that the maximum transmission distance for SDI is 100 meters, 
but it is crucial to have not only quality SDI cable, but also more importantly, the SDI chipset to realize stable video quality. So if you want to use these two cameras as a high-end webcam, achieve it with the USB-C interface plug and play, no need to install any drivers. And you just need to open any of your favorite conference softwares, such as Zoom or Teams, and this PTZ camera can be recognized automatically and supports up to 4K30 resolution. Both of these two 4K60 PTZ video camera supports professional 3.5 millimeter line-in audio input. We have professional processing of the audio and the audio can be output through NDI, HDMI 2, 3G SDI at the same time with the video. So the output sound is continuous, clean and clear and no noise. About the control, these two cameras are just like our other cameras. There are a variety of control methods and you can enter the camera menu through the infrared remote controller to configure the camera parameters and switch the video format and PTZ control. What's more, you can also set the image, the speed, code switching PTZ control through our intuitive web UI page. And of course, here I've got the TLC50 TCNDI controller keyboard. And you can also download our Telecam control software app on our website to control the camera on your computer. And of course, you can also use any control device you like to control them, as long as it supports standard VSCA over serial, VSCA over IP, NDI, UVC, and UNWIF protocols. So here, I shot a video to show you the main functions of our Telecam web UI page. So let's watch it. All right, guys, now let's walk you through the main functions and features of Telecam's web UI page. Just like most of the web UI, you just need to enter the IP address of the NDI PTC camera and the username and password would be admin admin. So here on the preview page, you can see there are substream and mainstream picture quality you can choose. And also you can do the pen tilt control from here. You can also do zoom in, zoom out, focus and focus mode choices here. And here are the pen tilt speed, focus speed, zoom speed you can set up. Also the preset control. So here you can set up, delete, or go to the presets. You can set up maximum 128 presets. So in the settings page, first one is the video encode. So you can set up the resolution, bitrate or bitrate control for the main or substream. And you can also change the encode mode. We have two H.264 and H.265 and there also RTSP address here. The video transmission part, this is when you need some streaming protocols such as RTMP, NDI and SRT so you can stream to platforms like YouTube or Vimeo. And we also have audio settings. For the image adjust, this is where uh, we use most frequently. So we have focus, exposure, white balance, image, image quality, noise reduction, and video output. So you can change to according to your preference. And there are network configurations here. For the firmware upgrade, this is where you can upgrade your telecam cameras to the latest version. So you can see the whole progress is very intuitive. You don't need to learn or think about how to do it and we'll just easily find out whatever parameters and setups you'd like to change accordingly.
If you want to take a look at the details of the web UI functions, we already post a detailed exploration video on Telecam YouTube channel. The installation of the PTZ camera is very flexible. You can mount it on the desk, on the wall, or like this on the tripod, or upside down on the ceiling. Because of its flexibility, cameras can be placed to some hard to reach corners. And through remote control, it's a good substitute of manual operation. The accessories to go with these two 4K60 PTZ video cameras we have the TLC 50TC NDI controller keyboard, which can connect maximum seven cameras through daisy chain, and also the wall mount bracket and ceiling mount bracket. Also the high quality HDMI cables of 10 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. So those are the specs of the new 4K60 NDI PTZ cameras. What can you expect next? The most exciting part is we will integrate 3D into these two cameras. 3D is actually a PTZ control protocol that sends the camera positioning data directly from camera to a VR production system. So this protocol was implemented on the basis of serial port in the early days, but now it is upgraded to the network version. It is supported by most of the popular virtual set systems, including solutions such as Brainstorm, ROS Experience, VizRT, and Zero Density. We can realize auto tracking and virtual realization through its algorithms. This is how 3D empowers broadcast production with VR application and takes remote cameras to an entirely different level of performance. The upgrade version is already in the testing procedure. So if you are interested, stick around. And what's more to expect, we are also developing our new auto tracking feature. This is something that many of our customers have been requesting that we are trying to integrate it into our products so all our customers could benefit from. Talk about the vision for the future, we are keeping our eyes closely on some cutting edge industry technology. Except for the current NDI HX3, which we already got certified by NDI, we are also talking to the Dante teams and SDVOE about a possible Dante, Vidya, PTZ camera, and the feasibility to join the SDVOE ecosystem. Now you may be a little tired of listening to many information and sliders. So here, let's take a look at the sample footage we shot with the TLC 700 IP 34K NDI AB. Because you know, uh, through Zoom webinar, we only uh, output 1080p. So here is the video at 1080p 60 resolution. And later on, we will post a 4K 61 on our YouTube channel. And anyways, that's Take a look first. Okay, so the main scenario for applying a true 4K60 camera is when you need to shot fast moving objects and output stable, clear video quality, especially for esports 
or sports life. So here is a video of a speed trend under the resolution of 4K60 and 4K30. So you will have a clear clue of how important is 4K60 in this situation. So based on its features, this two 4K60 PTZ camera is extremely for, suitable for large venues and broadcast level studios, such as arenas, parliaments, sports, and games. And it really depends on your venue conditions and in which ways you want to use them to determine which of these two cameras are best for you. So finally, let's announce her prize. The MSRP for TLC 700 IP 34K NDIAB is 2,399 US dollars. And TLC 300 IP 12K NDIAB is 1,699 US dollars, which is quite tempting. So please feel free to contact your local distributors or dealers in your area or through sales at telecam.com for more details. So, well, now this is all the features I want to show you today and it's time for our Q&A part. If you have any questions, please drop it in the Q&A chat and I can see, I can see already some of you guys posted in the chat section. So I will choose several questions that I think most of you would be interested to know and share it out. So let me take a look. Okay, so here I've got the questions on my phone. The first one is, does the camera support 4K60 from SDI? So this version is 3G SDI. So it supports maximum 1080p 60. And our next version would be released in our uh, 2023 and um, quarter two. So it will support the 3G SDI. So of course it will support the 4K60. And the second question is, do both 4K cameras have SRT? Yes, uh, correct. We, it, they both support SRT protocol. And next question, can it be used for recording a football game? So the cameras do not have storage for recording, but it can connect with any recording platform to record it. And for 4K60, and it, I think it's extremely suitable for you to record uh, a sports game. And next one, um, can I send audio from a mixer to the camera as a microphone? So yes, the audio can be input via the line-in audio input uh, from NDI, HDMI, or SDI with the video at the same time. Next question is, how does it, 
how it does in low light. So our 4K60 cameras do very well in low light or high contrast light environment. So please keep tuned with the YouTube videos and we will try to show you with a sample footage. And the last question, uh, to be clear, is it NDI HX3? So when, when you are using NDI port interface, it can support um, NDI HX3 to output 1080p60, and it can support um, 4K60 through NDI HX2. So it supports both NDI HX2 and HX3. It just um, depends on which resolution you are using. So uh, our last question, is there a portal uh, where we can download firmware files for free? Yes, the firmware files is operated via uh, the web UI directly. So now I think everyone, so that's all the questions I've seen here. And I think everyone is waiting for the give giveaway part. Uh, so if you have any other questions for us, please reach us via support at telecam.com and we will try our best to help. And later on, we will try to um, we will try to make a list of the questions and answers that we make uh, we have today, so we can post it on our social medias. All right, now time to ring the bell. So it's our favorite giveaway time. And last time when we were giving away the full NDI PTZ camera and the keyboard, some of you guys were flooding the chat. I think. Most of you already know this time we will be giving out two sets of the 4K60 PTZ cameras, the two that we've been talking about today. So how can you join us? You just need to type in, I love Telecam. So maybe Jenny or Lacey, you can give them an example. Yes, I love Telecam, Michael. Just type in, I love Telecam in the chat section and I will count from 10 to one when it is one, and my, maybe Jenny will do a screenshot and the closest one will get the prize. All right. Okay, so let me see who loves Telecam the most. I can see so many names of flooding here. I love Telecam with a love heart. Jenny, are we ready? Okay. So I'm going to count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, by the way, this time we're going to give out the 12 times uh, 4K60 PDZ cameras. And 3, 2, 1. Okay. So Jenny, did you do a screenshot? Let me see. Um, all right, so you guys want to know who won the first prize today, the 12 times 4K NDI PTZ camera. Uh, the name is Ricardo Selman. I don't know whether I pronounced it right. It's Ricardo, Ricardo's here. Is Ricardo here? You won the first prize, the 12 times. Uh, 4K60 PDZ camera from Telecam. Are you here? If you are here, can you just give us uh, maybe a love heart in the chat section? <laughs> Yonki, my name is Ricardo. Ricardo, are you here? If you... <laughs> Congratulations, where are you, Ricardo? So if you're not here, then we will choose the number two to win the prize. <laughs> if you're not here, we will choose the second one who's closest and who is next to you to win the 12 times uh, NDI PDZ cameras. <laughs> Ricardo is not here. 
So, Jenny, do you know who's the next one? Who's the next one? Who's the one next to Ricardo's name? Payment. Payment. So, Payment, you are the one next to Ricardo's name. So, is Payment here with us? If you are here, please give us any emojis in the chat section. Yes, Payment. So, Payment, congratulations. You won the 12 times NDI PDZ cameras, uh, 4K60 NDI PDZ cameras from Telecam. So, if you didn't get the prize, that's all right because we've got a better heat, the 30 times optical zoom 4K60, the TLC 700 IP34 k NDIAB, the one you can see here. So this is the last prize we will be giving away today. Don't hesitate to join us and just type in I love Telecam. Yes, we are going to play it again to win the 30 times 4K60 NDI PTZ camera. Okay, so who, who, is, who is there flooding I Love Telecam in the chat? So this time, the 30 times 4K 60 and the IPDZ camera, let's see who is the luckiest, who is the luckiest boy or girl today, tonight. Okay, and I'm going to count now, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop, Jenny. Okay, let me see the name. I didn't hear it clearly. Uh, Jenny said she did a screenshot with Steve. Steve Harris. Steve Harris. Is Steve here? Congratulations! You won the biggest prize tonight. Steve Harris, yes, you are here. Congratulations. So congratulations. Uh, who, so who should get the 12 times? <laughs> so Steve Harris got the 30 times uh, ND, uh, 4K60 NDI PTZ cameras. And payment. Payment, you will get the 12 times uh, 4K60 and the IPTZ cameras. Okay, so that was so much fun. And now it's time to wrap up the webinar. So again, for the two lucky winners, please don't forget to contact us via marketing at telecam.com to claim your prize. And this is so much for today's webinar. And thanks for interacting with us in the chat and Q&A part, anyone you did it, it means really a, a lot to us. And I'm so happy to see the way it goes. So if you're watching the record video in, on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe to Telecam. And we really appreciate your time to join us. And we look forward to our next event. Again, I'm Ivy and we are Telecam. Thank you guys so much for checking out and we will see you next time. Bye. Oh.